back to Mobility Project. We're introducing a new segment uh, piece today called Ask the Leopard. And uh, I've taken a, an email from uh, our submission that interests me. And uh, let me answer this. So the, the question is, hey, dear leopard, um, how, you know, I appreciate all those mobility things. What do I do? How do I get tight? What's the ordering actually look like when I'm picking up everything? So we're going to start to break this down for you today and kind of over the next segments. And then uh, keep the questions coming. We'll try to answer a question on camera once a week. So here's what we got going on today. Here's the question. Hold that. Um, what we did yesterday is we talked about with Laura Phelps, you know, can you load up 745 pounds on the bar? This is 750 pound yoke. I want to show you what this looks like. A lot of times when we have discussions about what we think neutral spine is, you know, what we need to do is recognize that a lot of the best powerlifters on the planet, the strength, strength athletes on the planet, squeeze their butt first. Butt sets position by bringing pelvis to femur. That's what the butt really does, or hip to femur. It sets me up in a neutral. Then I can brace, and then I can fill my abs into any position from there. But if I'm under load, I unrack the weight, and then try to get tight, I've already entered that tunnel of load. There's no way I can idealize or kind of approximate best positioning. What I'll see is always kind of a compromise. The best athletes will organize, maximally put themselves into the best position where they kind of then can load up from there. So what I want to show you here is that even with 750 pounds, I'm going for Laura Phelps plus five pounds. We'll beat Laura Phelps. I don't have to squat this thing very far, thank God. But uh, here's the, le the rule. And that one of the things we notice is that when our athletes uh, come in and they're like, hey, I really feel strong in this position. We're like, okay, let's stand underneath the 700 pound yoke. And this is our 700 pound yoke test. We've done with 600 pounds, 500 pounds, it's entirely up to you. The issue is, once you're under load, I dare you to overextend. You feel like your spine will explode out your back. That's the point. Don't do it. What you'll feel is that when you're under load, there's only going to be one position, which is butt in neutral, rib cage anchored down and stiff, trying to brace out of that position. We don't end up hanging on those facets. So watch what happens here. Here we go. One rep max. This is for you, Laura Phelps. You'll notice that most of those power athletes squeeze their butt tight. Knees out. Big breath. Whoop. You got to stand here for 10 seconds. It's a 10. <laughs> so the issue here is that there's no way I'm going to try to change my spinal position. I put myself in the best position possible for our powerlifters to straight up right. If we take this over to our squat rack, PR, PR, beat Laura Phelps. I got that by one pound. <laughs> one, don't one pound me, don't Kenzo me on camera. All right, same thing happens here with the squat. It's oftentimes we see athletes unrack the weight, they walk back, they look at each other, you're watching me, We've got the camera on, looking out at the ground. We need to treat it like it's two squats. It's one squat out, 700 pounds, I take one step, nothing changes, and then I load. And so I get completely organized. My head goes up, I get super tight, Ugh, just so stiff, nothing changes. And I don't look at my feet, I'm gonna trust my feet are still there. Once I've surrendered that position, I'm out of position. Now, this kind of two squat concept means that I better have enough capsule room that under load, I can come to full extension. Today's mobility walk. The first piece. It's called destroy your anterior bit. So I'm gonna hook this into my ghoulie. Wind that back as far as I can. First thing I'm gonna do is keep my butt squeezed and then floss into that position looking for all those corners. The second thing I'm gonna do, so do that for two minutes each side. Then let's go ahead and lay the leg really far behind. I gotta press here biasing extension, I'll keep my torso forward, squeeze my butt, and then press up from there. Very different feel. What I want to make sure I don't do, again, is overextend. The idea is to try to improve that positioning. I also want to cue the butt. If I can't get my butt on tight, I'm going to be lost. Internally rotate that back leg for that kind of peak congruency of the hip capsule. Then, see how that goes. And you're going to see that if you do the retest, this side of the butt squeezes much harder, I'm much more open, which means I can achieve a much more upright torso, which means then I can try to treat this like I have a single hip joint, not like I am the broken stripper leopard, which is a bad image for always. Unless you're Mark Bell. Hey, Mobility Waddle, see you guys tomorrow.